And so today, the Prime Minister and I are reaffirming our common vision of a long-term partnership between our nations. This is in keeping with our strategic framework agreement, and it will be like the close relationships we have with other sovereign nations. Simply put, we are building a comprehensive partnership. Mr. Prime Minister, you've said that Iraqis seek democracy, a state of citizens and not sex. So we're partnering to strengthen the institutions upon which Iraq's democracy depends. Free elections, a vibrant press, a strong civil society, professional police and law enforcement that uphold the rule of law, an independent judiciary that delivers justice fairly, and transparent institutions that serve all Iraqis. We're partnering to expand our trade and commerce. We'll make it easier for our businesses to export and innovate together. We'll share our experiences in agriculture and in healthcare. We'll work together to develop Iraq's energy sector, even as the Iraqi economy diversifies, and we'll deepen Iraq's integration into the global economy. We're partnering to expand the ties between our citizens, especially our young people. Through efforts like the Fulbright program, we're welcoming more Iraqi students and future leaders to America to study and form friendships that will bind our nations together for generations to come. And we'll forge more collaborations in areas like science and technology. We'll partner for our shared security. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, we discussed uh, how the United States could help Iraq train and equip its forces, not by stationing American troops there or with U.S. bases in Iraq. Those days are over but rather the kind of training and assistance we offer to other countries. And given the challenges we face together in a rapidly changing region, we also agreed to establish a new formal channel of communication between our national security advisors. And finally, we're partnering for regional security. For just as Iraq has pledged not to interfere in other nations, other nations must not interfere in Iraq. Iraq's sovereignty must be respected. And meanwhile, there should be no doubt the drawdown in Iraq has allowed us to refocus our resources, achieve progress in Afghanistan, put al-Qaeda on the path to defeat, and to better prepare for the full range of challenges that lie ahead. So make no mistake, our strong presence in the Middle East endures, and the United States will never waver in defense of our allies, our partners, or our interests. This is the shared vision that Prime Minister Maliki and I reaffirmed today. An equal partnership, a broad relationship that advances the security, the prosperity, and the aspirations of both our people. 